get this show started. All right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Alcohol Content. You're here with another special guest, someone different. It's not Matt, okay? The firefighter, he's old news, okay? We're moving on, okay? We got someone else. So let's introduce ourselves and we'll get into this special celebration episode. So we got, you're normal. We got Ryan. I almost you're said normal. Right. You're normal. <laughs> I was yeah. As right. opposed to Abby, <laughs> normal. Yeah, normal, <laughs> abnormal, yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we got Rick. Yes, we have you right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> and we have Adele. Adele dropped by for the evening. Adele. Yeah. Adele. Hello. Adelaide. 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 You know, it's changes. spelled the same way. Exactly. But she almost, got me, Austin. Yes. So, you know, today is a, a special day because it's right before New Year's. Okay. You're like, man, I need to buy some champagne day. Okay. That's how you say it in, uh, in France. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, but you want to get some champagne. You don't know what to get. It's like you can get some super cheap stuff. You can get some really expensive stuff. What are you going to do? Well, this is the episode for you. So before you go out there and buy anything, you should watch this. And uh, I'll let my man Ryan here take it away. Yeah. So already uh, you're coming off as pretty ignorant. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's just new? want everybody to know me. that. <laughs> yep. no, not even that. There was like five <laughs> things. <laughs> um, so just to clarify, we're going to do a sparkling wine episode. Uh, to be <laughs> wow, <laughs> to be champagne, you have to be from Champagne, France. So we're gonna do a bunch of different bubblies from different areas. We do have a champagne, a real Ooh. champagne, uh, but we're gonna do a bunch of different stuff that's all affordable, great to bring to a New Year's party. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, that's sort super of the point easy here. to find. Are they um, all kind of like easy drinkers? There's no like oddballs thrown in there yeah there, there shouldn't be anything too crazy i okay. mean most of these are some of the largest production of bubblies on the planet so they've kind of figured out what the people want right um so most of them will probably be recognizable if you have ordered uh mimosas or anything like that at a bar okay. or brunch or so what you're saying is this is the episode for me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is where you're gonna shine. Austin yeah. branches. Yeah, yeah. So instead of whiskey, we're drinking just bubbles, bubbles for the New yeah. Year's. Definitely not so you're champagne. Saying, you're saying we're hydrating. <laughs> we're hydrating compared we're, to our normal. Compared stuff. to our normal stuff, we're hydrating. Yep. So the first one we're starting with is Lamarca, which is one of the most recognizable bottles that you can find on the planet. I've definitely um, bought this before. Yeah, for sure. And it's a prosecco, right? Prosecco. Which is from Italy, so it's Italian. A, it's a bubbly. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a bubbly from Italy, from the region of Prosecco. Oh, okay. that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it is made with the Glera grape, which also used to be called the Prosecco grape, and then people got real confused, so they officially changed the name of the grape because hmm. it was like, well, we drink Prosecco. It's like, well, it's made from Prosecco in Prosecco. And everyone's like, what did you just yeah. say to me in <laughs> the Italian? The egg. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, it's this is pretty standard. It's going to be a brute, which is, I believe it's brute, right? Yeah. Ooh, I don't even know if it is brute. So, I think it is. Question Champagne has to be made in the Champagne region. Does Prosecco have to be made in Prosecco? Yes. See, I always thought Prosecco was a type like brut. I thought Prosecco meant like sweet. Right. Sweet exactly. wine. But it's just it's, it's from not, that region. Yeah, okay. it has to be from yeah, Prosecco. Uh, there are other bubblies made in Italy that are not Prosecco, um, but they're a lot less popular and harder to find. Hmm. Um, and yeah, it's it's really easy to find Prosecco everywhere. And they tend, a lot of them tend to be on the sweeter side. Okay. So people associate Prosecco with sweeter, even though that technically isn't the case. Mm -hmm. um, and this one's on, it's on a little bit of a sweeter side, but it's not like yeah. sugar water. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is on the, on all Italian bottles, you see the little sticker here that goes up the yeah. side. Um, that'll that's from the government, oh. and it tells you kind of the quality. Oh, okay. And there's different levels of quality, and basically most prosecco is gonna say DOC on it, which is the second highest level of quality and control, and then DOCG is the highest. 
And is that on all Italian mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. including wine? The, the, all, all what kinds the of wine? Wine, yep. the wine too. Right? I guess this cool. is sparkling wine. So yeah. yeah, anything wine, they have a sticker if it's a higher end. Okay, theoretically, that's actually kind of neat. That's so funny that the government is like, "This is a nice wine." Uh, yeah. Well, Italy we're like, actually, we're like, like a this isn't toxic, and Italy is like. This yeah. is very so nice. This, yeah. this company paid us a <laughs> lot of money <laughs> to put this label on yeah. there. Well, yeah. it's, it's, there's it's, a lot of regulation. It, there's it. a lot of regulation because yeah. it's an important industry, right? So yeah, it's like, well, that makes and, sense. and Italian wine was in a huge decline because they were putting out such garbage. And mm. there was a lot of stuff where, like, their red wine, they were literally watering down with white oh. wine. And so it, they started getting in trouble for how just trash it was. Oh, and then wow. they came out with all their regulations and stuff. They were like, we got to salvage our reputation yeah. That's here. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Like in America in the, what was it, 70s, 80s, all the like candle, uh, like the bottles of wine that they use for a candle holder in like Italian restaurants, mm -hmm. that was like the garbage that they were just shoving out on the world oh, for okay. a long, for huh. decades. And then after a while, I was like, okay, we need to get our shit together. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But just to be clear, you're a huge fan, and so am I, of Italian wines. I mean, we're not, we, I mean, I, don't I want love anybody, Italian wine. Right? Don't want anybody to think that we're just crapping on Italian wine. They yeah. have some of the best from wine the seventies. Yes. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> just the history. Their, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They got the stickers now. So this prosecco. <laughs> I mean, just to give you an idea, was this was twelve ninety nine? Okay. So you can pick up a prosecco for ten dollars, twelve dollars, or whatever to go over to your New Year's Eve party or yeah. or, yep. or whatever. Um, Easy mimosa bottle. Yeah, and it's. It's not made in the traditional sense, correct? Yeah, it's not made like champagne. Well, how is it made? The Charmat, <laughs> the Charmat or yeah. process or whatever. Yeah, where they basically just cut corners. Nice. No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> it's it sounds corners. delicious. <laughs> the second fermentation's in a large, instead of in the bottle, it's in a large stainless steel vat. And then they... Cutting corners. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, what's it called? That's the Charmat method. Okay. So there's like the champagne or the traditional <laughs> method. And then where they literally like put more yeast in the bottle. Yeast and sugar and in the bottle. And that's how it makes oh, the, uh. it carbonated. That's how it makes it bubbly. Hmm. And then they do a whole process with that. And then here they're just like, mm, dump it in a tank. And then we'll get it well, pressurized they do the, and like figure yeah. it out. Right. Hmm. They do the same thing. It's just all in a tank and not individual. The second okay. fermentation's yeah. all in a tank not in each individual bottle that you have to quarter yeah. turn and all that. Type so of much stuff. more wow. efficient, yeah. economical, yeah. Yeah. cheaper. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And doesn't taste bad. I mean, this is, yeah. this no, is a, good. this is one you give. I mean, so many people probably buy this. Yeah. So. It's a crazy how many people buy yeah. this. Yeah. It's Which like there are, there are better Prosecco's out there. I'm not saying these are the best of the best. Oh, yeah. no, these absolutely not. Just sort of a little bit of low down on what they actually are. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. So, what is anybody getting any tasting notes off this, or is just well pear? Yeah, apple. I mean, it, mm -hmm. what what are like the normal tasting notes that you're going to get on a champagne or a sparkling, a sparkling wine? wine? <laughs> on the on the drier end, uh, you're going to get a lot of pear and apple, kind of the brighter, Some crisper of citrus. Yeah, crisper fruit notes. Um, when you start getting into like true champagne and things that are aged longer and higher quality, you start getting a lot weirder notes. Like okay. You get oh. fig notes and toast. Gin ginger. Yeah. Toast. Yeah. Ginger. They become yeah. a lot more toasty. Bre mm. Bread, wow. brioche, bread, yeah. freshly okay. break baked bread. Especially. Is that because they put yeast and sugar in the bottle? So That's you get a brighter the, taste. The, it's yeast. called on the lees. Okay. And it's the dead yeast cells that are like still in the bottle that they or yeah, when they're aging it. That's where that flavor comes yes. from. Yeah. Okay. Cause like yeah. I don't like bready beer. So I might yeah. I might not like well, it's true definitely, champagne. It's definitely as much. different than bready beer, because usually okay. bready beer is like super heavy. Okay. Where it's like, wow, this is a meal as yeah. I'm drinking this. Right. Whereas with champagne, you get some of those notes, but it's not like okay. oh my god, I'm full from three sips of this. Not the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is cool. definitely on the lighter, lighter end. I mean, it's very easy. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Kind of, well, Look at that. I like bottle. this one. That's a sexy bottle. Isn't that great? That's bring, a, that's bring a, that that's to a, a party. Yeah. We've yeah. already made a decision. You want to impress somebody? <laughs> bring that. Well, this bottle. is. You know what's even is, greater? It's cheaper. Oh, Whoa. Yeah, it's nine, nine ninety nine. <laughs> this is from Spain, so it's a cava. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any, any sparkling from Spain is cava. And very cool. Frejane, you can. 
pick up anywhere. As a matter of fact, Frazier So they still the sparkling wine because it's not made in the Champagne region of, of France. It's made uh, in Spain, but they still do the traditional method. Frazier does oh, where they're. Yeah. And, Which and, is weird. And so, are you trying to murder me with that thing? No, Frazier. Frazier actually at your, yeah. at your beard. <laughs> Fra- <laughs> the company Frazier produces more more traditional method sparkling wine than any other company in the world. That's interesting. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a second. Talk about it's party sexy. time. <laughs> yeah. Where was the po- that pop? Was the you most screwed that up. Anticlimactic. Yeah. What was that? Non-champagne yeah. bottle yeah. opening it's I've ever a, heard. You should have actually leaned leaned a little bit while you did yeah. that. Talk <laughs> talk about that. I thought you were Nobody, about to blast me in the face. You're with not it. supposed to like pop yeah. champagne if, if, if you're it, drinking it. If it pops, you've done it wrong. It, wow. Basically. Okay. So you're sp- mm-hmm. wait. So I know this. From so if you, you have the bottle fart. Then that's that's what you want it to do. Yeah, you want it so to squeeze one not out only, secretly. Not only with opening bubbly, but also French people refer to farts as the French whisper. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> 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 I almost don't have to change my laugh to do a French laugh. <laughs> it's so close to just being that already. I basically have to change this like opening of my mouth to make that. Yeah, laugh you got out. it. You got the French laugh. So um so how are you actually supposed to open a bottle? You act you twist the bottle, not the cork, right? Correct. Okay. I can I'll on the next one when I open it, I'll kind of go through it. Cool. Yeah. Um but yeah, you want it to to hiss. You want it to yeah. <laughs> Like a speaking snake. of hissing. Like speaking of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So I do have to comment on this. You're wearing a cat, a fat cat. What is it? Is it a sweatshirt? I don't know. It looks like a sw- it's got a pocket like a it sweatshirt. Has, but it's this is like a shirt material. It's like it looks like cotton. Yeah. Like thick. It's cotton. like a painter's outfit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, smock. Actually, that's a good call. It's yeah. It's a fat cat like smock. But it's a smock. <laughs> You're wearing a smock. Okay. You're wearing but a smock. It has a collar. It's actually a wine smock. It's all smock. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> I wore I wear this in my job interviews. <laughs> you know? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> that uh, you know, if anyone is hiring, I <laughs> need a job, please. <laughs> it will also, did you I was going to you're going for the beard? Yeah, I was yeah. going for the beard. Oh, we're yeah. doing double double time. Oh, yeah. Double this jeopardy. Is, double down on this is, down. We're rolling in the deep. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. called Critique Austin <laughs> evening. <laughs> what, what's what going on with what your you beard? Mean? I mean, you normally have a ZZ Top beard. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but now it's even more it's like... totally it, normal. Actually, it looks no. like... Hold on. It's usually... A Duck Dynasty beard. <laughs> yes. And yes, now you've, yes. you've uh, pressed it yeah, well, into a ZZ Top I think beard. I saw yeah. it with the iron. Yeah. The iron. <laughs> yeah. Not a regular iron. Yeah. An old-timey one where you put it on the stove. Oh, yeah. And then you yeah. press yeah. your yes. beard. That's exactly right. Yeah. It's like Fu it looks Man like Chew, but only on the you chin. Do look it's <laughs> just the chew. <laughs> just, There's no Fu Man. I just want to listen to Austin tonight because he looks like a... Ancient sage. Yes, he does. Again. With my uh, yes, you look very. That wise. could almost oh, be yeah. kimono like. Only it kimono does look Japanese. Like a kimono. You look more Chinese sage. <laughs> yeah. You look like you're culturally appropriating somebody, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can't really pin it down. I can't. <laughs> no, you can't. You're not sure what culture. This yeah. is a very confusing look. It's I'm confused right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the beard. Um, you know, I am engaged now, and I had to go. <laughs> and, and, and I got to change my beard now. I, I had to go take engagement photos today. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. Cool. There's so oh, much reasoning fun. behind this. <laughs> <laughs> you were engaged in photos. Yeah. Um, and so. Well, cheers. Yeah, my. Cheers. <laughs> cheers to Austin's yeah. engagement <laughs> photos. Wait, Ryan. No. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's this that's is- why it's straight is because someone had a good idea, a fantastic idea, you know, lovely idea to straighten it. Well, what it I feel like. like the person that had that idea mm-hmm. doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you and want. And also that person who had the idea doesn't have a beard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh so what's everybody think of the cava, the Spanish sparkling wine? Can I ask a question? Wine? Yeah. Is this one breadier? Well, it's not champagne. Do you, what do you right, think? Right, but let me, let me, I, I don't get... But it is done in the champagne I don't get mm. as much 
like of the fruit, the sweet fruit as I did the previous one. So I feel like it's a little breadier and like a little bit drier. I think it it reminds me of moist zucchini bread. Why would you say that? (laughs) Moist, <laughs> moist, moist. If they moist. put that on the back of the bottle or like on the tag at the store, they nobody would, not would be, buy this. They would not be the most distributed. <laughs> notes, <laughs> notes of moist zucchini yeah. bread. I think we're the most distributed <laughs> podcast around. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh my God. You're right. It's yeah. not as sweet as the La Marca. Okay. And I, I, like, it's, it's not necessarily bready. Okay. But it's definitely less of the kind of apple pear notes yeah, or, okay. or it's it's a drier version of them it's a crisper version mm. like a different kind of apple yes and if i was gonna be oh, okay. if i was working for the industry of prosecco they would take that and say exactly the fruit uh, the fruit flavor shines through more it's it's more vibrant a in a prosecco mm-hmm. and this is a this is a cava it's it's from spain so it's a cava right. and they do it in the traditional me- method so that yeast is in the bottle. I mean, not right now. They mm-hmm. all they extract, but but uh, so I I'm not tasting the bread either. But it is certainly drier. Okay. Definitely and different. And I'd say it's it's uh, rounded, more rounded, and not those those light fruit notes aren't coming through as much. I like it. I like it mm-hmm. a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I, the, the fruit's not coming. They also as much. do. This is the brute. So this and brute is a sugar level essentially. Okay. Um, and they do make another one. Uh, I mean, they make a few other ones, but they make another one that's really popular that's a little sweeter as well. And it looks the exact same. I think the like accent marks are more of a bright blue, hmm. um, but it's a little bit on the sweeter side, but it's basically this, just a little sweeter. I think okay. that the the more like bready flavor is only on the back end. You know, you get the, the, the aftertaste a little bit. is the only time that it shows up, but it Agreed. does it does show up. But it's like it's faint. I'm sure the more expensive ones are going to be going to kind of hit you in the face with it. This is definitely I, on the no, low I end. Of Tasting it again, kava. I can, yeah, I can taste that. Yeah. Uh, so this doesn't have the sticker. It's from Spain. So is this a cheaper level? It doesn't even reach the level to, to get a sticker. Uh, no, because they don't do the same thing that Italy does. Different country. So Spain. Oh, Spain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From the Catalonia. Spanish. The more you know. The Catalonia. <laughs> yeah. The Catalonia region. Catalonia. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, yeah. And this was, if we, I think you mentioned, nine ninety nine or whatever. So, it's mm-hmm. even. So, Cava's, would you agree with this, Ryan? They tend to be, you can get them fairly inexpensively. Not just this one, but many of them. And, yeah. yeah. And it might be one of the better values out there, I think. Yeah. If you're, if you're going for cheap bubbles, but, like, bang for your buck. It's almost impossible to go wrong with kava. Kava is my go-to for anything mm. cheap that's bubbly, just because it's done traditionally and they you can get them for cheap. And I mean, I would drink this. Yeah, yeah. and I, enjoy it. Yeah, it's not like cooks where it's like right. It, yeah, you don't want to drink it, but you do it because you bought <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a few steps up from that kind of stuff. Yeah. The cooks and Andre and stuff, yeah. but. Yeah, and I've had, I mean, you can get expensive kava, but for the most part, if you see them in stores, I think the most expensive kava I saw in, for the most part was like 20, maybe 30 bucks. And that was like the really high, and that drank like as good as a lot of champagnes. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was like, wow, this is really good value. <laughs> Almost yeah. all of them are good value. For for me, I actually like the Brute more than the uh, Prosecco. It's kind of more into. It's more interesting because it's not so sweet. Mm. But well, is this this one's a brute too, though, right? You guys said this one's well, a brute. Well, we we believed it was, but it doesn't say so on the I don't think on the actual oh, so label. Don't. I I find that the prosecco just it tastes like a mimosa, which I'm a fan of. Mimo- of wow, hold on, there's a lot of M's <laughs> in that word. Yeah, <laughs> it's this beard is getting me all whacked out. <laughs> the curls are either in the beard or in my in my brain, so I have to pick one. Uh, the prosecco tastes like a mimosa. It's super sweet. And that's great and everything. But if I like want a glass of something, I I like uh, this one more. Hmm. Well, and I, that's why I actually recommend these more for mimosas in general because orange juice is yeah, you sweet. You don't need the sweetness. Yeah. So you don't need 
an extra sweet <laughs> bubbly in an already sweet drink. Yeah. I think that's a good call. So I usually do kava for mimosas, yeah. and they're cheaper than prosecco a lot of times. Do time. you think with uh, I like mimosas with like pomegranate juice sure. or like grapefruit juice? Do you think a prosecco or a kava I would, would still be do, better? I would still do this just because all of the, all the different kinds of mimosas you can mm-hmm. do are still going to be on the sweet side with whatever juice it is. Juice, yeah. And so I think this pair is better with that just because it doesn't overload you on sugar. Right. Okay. Personally, I mean, obviously, if you want just Personal to have a sugar high, yeah. every, then well, every palate's means. different too. But yeah, but I would agree with you, Austin. I, I mean, the prosecco was fine, but this is going to be a little more my speed. The Frazione, the Cava, yeah. And again, we're not trying to say this is equal to this. Like, I can't say I can't find the word brute anywhere on the prosecco bottle. And I, I don't thought, think it is a brute. I thought, yeah, I think it, it was sweeter than a brute. What does mm-hmm. that mean? So you said brute is a sugar level. So then what do you think this is categorized as if it's a higher uh, sugar level? So extra this will, sec or sec no, this will probably be confusing, going, yeah, okay. but extra dry, if something says extra dry on it, it is more sugar than a brute. That is confusing. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> and it could it gets even more confusing with different parts of it. For, but for the most part, you'll see extra dry and brute as the main ones for all bubbly. Uh, you can get like demi-sex or things like spumante and shit like that, which are... Spumoni? <laughs> that was a lot of words that were getting me excited. <laughs> Do. And that's no, real sweet. You can't find those very often. Um, but yeah, the sweeter stuff, I mean, you can... There's a lot of sugar in some of those. Hmm. Uh and all of them have a legal meaning of like a range of grams of sugar that okay. it can be to be in that category. And brute is on the dry side. And extra dry, which doesn't make sense, is a little on the sweeter side. <laughs> that doesn't, that's very confusing. It it is. Someone that yeah. does, like if you he, don't know, he didn't you even might know that. pick that. No, I didn't. Yeah. I taught, I I taught said, him that today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> today. When we, were, when we were picking these out, it's like, so wait a second, extra dry, that makes no yeah logical Hmm. sense yeah if you don't like something sweet you might pick that thinking extra dry brute extra brute and then like brute nature which is literally like zero fucking sugar yes what does that taste like uh i've had a couple of them and i'm not a fan i think bubbles need a little bit of sugar yeah Mm -hmm. and there's Um, a recommended (laughs) amount of sugar i mean they literally have the range of sugar that can be in Eat for each of these right. classifications, or it's whatever. like per gra- like gram per yeah, whatever. Exactly, yeah, like exactly. A, mm-hmm. a measured amount. Yep. Interesting. Now but I didn't brute know is that. the most common these days. Yeah, With... I've seen that on a lot of bottles. Like not knowing what it meant, but I've seen that. Yep. A Typically lot. means on the dry side. Mm-hmm. So but that's fairly typical. Though. Yeah. Right. You know, as we're celebrating a new year, I do have I I think you guys are a little slow. You know, we holy well, God. I've heard that before. <laughs> we're 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 trying to we're, we're trying to get this party started. Oh yes. So we need holy so we need our third bottle here. Oh sweet Lord. Whoa. Wow. Also a sexy bottle. Yes. Yeah, so I'm buying that from you right now. <laughs> and you know who this comes to you from? Ooh. Trader Joe's. Oh, it is. Yeah. No, it, it's the old awesome. TJ. Yep. <laughs> Which I think Trader Joe's is everywhere, right? No. Well, and Simpl- we didn't have one up, up yeah, until like five yeah, years ago. So in in larger cities, mm-hmm. for, yeah. you can pretty much find them. Looks, okay, looks like <laughs> I'm doing it. So <laughs> to open one of these, take the wrapper off, and then the cage. The key that most people don't do is you're supposed to leave the cage on. Did not know that. I thought because you were supposed to never look, leave it on. Look exactly like yeah. that face and do this. So the key is whichever eye you favor, keep, point it there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep the cage on it, and then hold the cork and the cage. Put it at a forty-five degree angle, and then you twist the bottle. And then the cork, the pressure in there will push the cork out on its own, mm-hmm. and so you're not going to take somebody's eye out. And it's cool because the bottle shines and glints with its yeah. uh, it does. cool pattern. Opaline. Yeah, and if you hold the cork, you can literally feel it. Just push itself. So, how long does this take again? 
Yeah. Do you want your How ride? long is your podcast? <laughs> oh. So quiet. You should have oh, done that like right next to the mic. That was unbelievable. <laughs> that was very quiet. The French whisper. Think about if I was at a New Year's party, I wouldn't even know that that bottle was open. Yeah. Like, exactly. Over a conversation, you wouldn't realize you had opened it. That's how you get your guests hammered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's, you have to hang around the bartender so you get it all before it's all drank because if they pop the bottle, it's all, half of it's going to be gone. Pop Can't bottles. drink it. That is how you waste bubbly too. Yeah. The other thing, I don't know if you guys have done this, but the like a sabering a bottle. Mm. Yeah. Where I don't know. Oh, if I do seen that. that. Oh, yeah. just yesterday I did that. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Rick move. Thank you. <laughs> but you can do it with like a butter knife if you, you know, just yeah. a kitchen, normal kitchen butter knife. But uh, the key is you find the seam in the glass on the bottle. Oh. And you do Thank take you. the cage off, but you slide the knife down the seam in the bottle and you just hit the like head of it and it'll just shear right off huh you can kill somebody with that yeah i've been practicing doing it with my hands <laughs> you can actually do it with a wine glass too oh that's really? Really because it doesn't cool. take a lot of pressure to do it you just have to hit it correctly oh um but also a lot mm. of people break wine glasses trying to do that yeah uh is it true then because I've, I've heard that if you don't like get the cork off or like you know because it kind of shatters the bottle Yes. Right. So if you don't get it on the first try, you're probably not going to get it. Is that true then? Or not really because it's about like kind of the physics of the right. bottle itself. Or it's like more the... about the physics. Okay. And there is always a weak spot as far as how a bottle is made. And so if you hit it, and that's also what's cool is you're never going to be afraid of getting glass in the bubbly because if you hit it, it will shear Explode. the it'll shear the top off and it, shoot it yeah. out so it's clean it's a clean yeah. break every time so could you because this bottle is a different shape could you saber this bottle or oh, is no. it safer to saber she's trying to figure out her a... next tiktok video yeah. actually yeah because <laughs> i'm on the tiktok <laughs> i'm on the tiktok so you potentially could is that what you said there's a seam on it so yeah you can okay well well cheers cheers to this cheers, cheers. Woo. So this go. looks like uh, a rosé. It is. Yes. So there's a couple things going on. It's French, mm. but it's not champagne because it's not from the champagne region of France. It's actually sort of hard to find information on this. Uh, gotten it before, taken it to places, and it's been a huge, huge hit. Again, it's seven ninety nine to nine ninety nine. Are you what? kidding me? And it's for so it's, cheap. it's French it's sparkling wine, especially which, for how pretty the bottle is. It, I'm it, a it, sucker for a pretty bottle or pretty label. Rarely is the, does the pretty bottle have the good stuff inside, right. but I'm going to argue that this is pretty tasty. It's not and bad. so, it, and it is a rose. It's a Pinot Noir, so it's a, a Pinot Noir grape. So it's a rosé. Interesting. I've Wait, never. I thought it was yeah. a blend. It says Pinot Noir. No, this Noir. is Pinot Noir right here. So, like, so I, when it comes to wine, Pinot Noir is my jam. It's this, interesting to see a rosé. So. M pretty much all French bubblies are made from three grapes. Pinot Noir, uh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay, and then another grape called Pinot Meunier, which mm. is primarily just used for bubbly. Uh, that's also a red grape. So Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, red, Chardonnay, white. And what's okay. cool is with champagne and stuff, like you can have a purely Pinot Noir made bubbly that is not red at all. It's just a white. It's a white yeah. bubbly, but it's only made from red grapes. How? Because the grapes are red because of the skin. So they, so they just don't the let them. the meat inside. Yeah. yeah, when they when they get all the juice out, they don't let the skins have contact with it. After that, they don't soak it in the skins, which is why it gets the color. Okay. And okay. so it's just a white juice, and then they use it. Does that mean there's that. no tannins? Uh, that's what Correct. I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. Which that's why red wine has tannins and white wine does not, because it's from the skin. That is of the very grape. interesting. Yeah, because wow. I really, when I drink red wine, I want the most tannic wine I can get. Like I want yeah. to like my mouth to pucker when I drink red wine. But and, I enjoy, and that's purely the skin contact, the maceration of the, right. the, the red skin. That's so interesting. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm excited. That's cool. <laughs> and <laughs> and when you're looking at French wine, if it says you'll see things like. Blanc de Blanc or Blanc de Noir. And that means if it's Blanc de Blanc, it means it's white from white, which means it's only Chardonnay because it's a white grape. And if it's Blanc de Noir, it's white 
wine from, from red, red grapes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The other thing I, I need to mention, I think, just because a lot of Americans still, they see pink, this nice sort of copper salmon color here. And they, in America, they, that you equate that to sort of cheap and sweet, just real sweet. Some it's cheap pink Moscato. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's dry. Not, this is dry. Yeah, yeah. This isn't, a, when done well, like most French rosés or whatever are, you know, min minerally in a good way and not very sweet and very, very tasty. Um, but in America, I think, Fruity what, but was dry. it the 80s and not, 80s that they started doing the, the white zin or whatever that so it was mm, pink or yeah. whatever and that was purely marketing mm. you're looking at sugar. us like we know none of us were born in the 80s oh, <laughs> sorry sorry it's like i'm sure ryan it, still knows but yeah 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 i know i wasn't born in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> well the, but but you know you know the industry right yeah, that's yeah. what it was white zin white zinfandel is like the abomination of the wine world. Yeah. And that was America. Sign me up. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> it's purely just hummingbird food. Okay. Like it's just oh. sugar sugar wine. Hmm. So what do, you, what do you think of this? The this is not so I would say the prosecco and I don't know the name of that one I forget. Frejeune. The Frejeune. Cava. Cava, yeah. Cava. Those to me that's champagne. That's what I would consider champagne. This is very much not champagne. This is sparkling wine. Oh. Like that, that's like I can taste the difference. It's a calm rose that's sparkling. No champagne notes uh, compared to, to the other ones. Hmm. Interesting. Like I find this to be very much different from both of those. I find this to be, I mean, it's different obviously because it's a rose, but I kind of see it as an in between of the other two. Like it's got a little more sweetness than the Frejeune, the Cava. But it's not quite like the La Marca, the Prosecco. Yeah, see, to me, this is... It's got more yeastiness to it. It does seem a little in between to me as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding it to just be more wine. Like, just a really light wine. Almost juice-like, but not like a heavy sweetness, but just a, like a light juice. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's good. I it's like rosé a lot. This is, I mean, for how cheap it is. I've been yeah. more into rosé. Lately, like I like red wine. I don't love white wine as much. So rosé is kind of like a little bit of an in between. Yeah, me. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, I'm I I pick I I am I'm enjoy it's it is different. So I mean, we're not really being fair. Be, we're not being consistent. We're changing all kinds of things. We, you know, it's like this was from Spain. Yeah. Now this is from Span <laughs> France, but not Spans. but <laughs> Spans. 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 from Spanks. Spanks. <laughs> Spanks. But it's like, but it's a but Pinot Noir. You know, just a, it, so it's a rosé. So we're changing all kinds of things up. But I'm I get a lot of floral on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's just sort of pleasant. Still light. The, the aftertaste not, is really pleasant. For me, I yeah, I feel like it has most of the feel of the kava, but then on the back end where the kava gets kind of funky and and in, and more interesting, I think this sort of rounds itself out to just more like red fruit notes a little bit. I didn't know how to say that, but I like everything you said. I was like, yeah, totally. <laughs> you know what I you know like like the I feel like this almost like this bubbled the Lamarca, longer the Prosecco, yeah. yeah like this i feel like it was like bubbly bubbly and then it just rounded yeah. out and the bubble feel was gone but off take of my a look tongue. at it take a look I, I noticed that because so, in my head i was thinking this seems less bubbly than the prosecco it feels more like like it drinks like on my tongue the feel is more like a kava mm -hmm. but i saw the bubbles and i was like i must be wrong <laughs> but it's they're smaller bubbles is that why the bubbles like are faster is that uh not faster, but it it is a little bit different. Like it um, finishes differently. Typically, bigger bubbles mean not as good quality. At least a trend that I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, small. So like champagne itself has the smallest of bubbles, um, and it's the most delicate of flavors and finer stuff. Okay. Um, and things like a spumante. Which is, <laughs> I mean, like that's like Andre yeah, has a spumante yeah, yeah. or like Martini and Rossi, like they really, really like four or five dollar bottles. They'll have spumantes. Cooks, yeah, they take a pound of sugar. Cooks does yeah. have GNH sugar, yeah. and it's it's yeah. so goddamn sweet. 
and it's just like injected bubbles and they're usually like fat bubbles um and it's just to cover up how bad the wine is oh that's sad (laughs) this has a kiwi note it it does to me, oh. there's a watermelon kiwi note going on. I get on. watermelon a little bit. Uh, like the bitterness of a of a kiwi, maybe mm. even it's not even ripe enough yet, but it's kind of like it, it hits with this kiwi note. This is really interesting. Mm-hmm. I would totally agree. Yeah, no, I'm not that. fully ripe kiwi, kiwi yeah. but I also get a little watermelon going on. I there. get a little watermelon. Not like watermelon flavored something. Yeah, no, no, like, no. Yeah, like really just watery watermelon. Yeah, I would say almost like <laughs> with a lot of vodka rind, almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The not super red, like ripe part, yep. the kind of pinky. Basically, part. not the, part the watermelon the you want like to buy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the watermelon you don't want. Don't... Knocking on watermelon. No, there's no vodka in this yeah. one yet. <laughs> so, question: I was just smelling this. How? So, like wine? It's the five. S's right so how do you drink sparkling wine the same way are you supposed to like kind of like mm. swirl smell sip swoosh spit. and spit well we got I've, never well, followed, not, not I've never followed I've never followed that but I mean like how are you supposed to like taste a champagne is it similar or is it kind of different because of the bubbles uh no same okay. same uh you can do the exact same thing it's maybe now's the time to bring up that we're, the glasses, we're actually technically yeah. these are champagne flutes and that's not the best thing to drink this stuff Cham- out of. In my uh, experience, champagne flutes suck ass for actually tasting bubbles. Uh it's for whatever reason, you just miss out. It's too thin, like the it's too skinny. The whole and you just miss top. out a lot on the aroma. Oh. Um, and then, so like what you were talking about earlier, yeah. the, the coupe the glasses, 19, the nineteen twenties, the Gatsby, know, the Gatsby yeah. glasses, which are impossible to hold without spilling. I hate those glasses so much. I... Well, you don't spill if you have a long cigarette holder and cigarettes. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. If you're holding a cigarette in the same hand, you won't spill. Yeah, Everything yeah, will be fine. Yeah. It, does. it does. There's something about that. You're just too out. cool to spill. <laughs> yeah. The great Gatsby. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, those aren't good either. In reality, mm. a white wine glass is the oh, best shoot. to drink out of, or drink bubbly yeah. out of. Mm. Just a regular white wine glass. Interesting. All right. Well, we're waiting for the glasses. Yeah, where's well, my we, white wine? We glass? actually <laughs> decided. We actually decided on this because this would be what you tradi- yeah. people yeah. traditionally. But we thought we'd bring bring up the point that these technically aren't really the best. Is that because it's such a narrow? Yeah, you can't like. Yeah. It needs a little the... bit wider. Yeah, there's even well, an emoji can, like, of these glasses. I feel like swirling together. this, it doesn't really do much. Like there's not enough movement to get the like actual like aromas out yeah. too, and then it won't come out at the top. So. Yep. Interesting. If I was polling you guys right now of the Prosecco, the Cava, and the French sparkling wine that's not champagne, which one would you, and again, the day, the mood, you know, yeah, in the order, what, what hits your fancy? Is it the Cava for you? I think it's the Cava. If I'm going to celebrate, I'm getting the Cava. The Opaline, I think, is a different, uh, different um, time for me. I would drink it. But maybe as like, like a, a summer sipper kind of thing. Yeah, like for sure. It it feels hydrating. <laughs> it's the watermelon. <laughs> yeah, it is it watermelon. Is refreshing. I I yeah. would consider most rosés, like in my mind, more of a warm weather, like hanging outside kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, but. And so I actually have been drinking. Um, Instead of like drinking red wine, I have been drinking some Brut Rosés. So I really like this one. It's different than the one I've been drinking. Um, But I really like this. I also really like sugar. I'm a candy person. So that could be too why I like. Because this one is sweeter. Like you said, it was kind of like juice. Um, So I really like this. Um, I have like Which this this doesn't have a ton of sugar to it. It's got more of a round... Mm. Like fruity profile, but Maybe it's not it's necessarily the... sweet. Right. I will. I will. So I like the opaline. However, I'm not going to lie. The very first time that I, I just picked, I was at Trader Joe's once and picked up a. But they have they have a you know verde that I really like. So Is I was it picking. The up, I, was, I was yeah yes exactly. Yeah. I was picking up a bunch of different. I took this home and I liked it. I didn't realize it was sparkling. Oh. I mean, I honestly thought I picked up a French yeah. rosé. Oh. And it is a French rosé. It just, in theory, Probably. is sparkling. Yeah. 
French rosé. But the first time I had it, it was like, this is a French rosé. I didn't know it was sparkling. Yeah. So already off the bat, this one is interesting. Why is that? The nose is way more fun. This actually has a nose, in my opinion. Um, is there some rye in this for Austin? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such a rye This guy. is fun. Uh, okay. You ready for what it is? Well, yeah. let's cheers first. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh! Ryan gave me a really small pour. Well, yeah, that look at that. This isn't this is a bad <laughs> celebration. It was uh you got a lot of, you got a lot of <laughs> bubbles going. You got the first part, which is how am I supposed bubbly. to celebrate if I don't the, have enough of this bubbly. All right, good this smelling is, this we toss non this champagne. Yeah, are you ready for this? Yeah. This is American. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness gracious. This is Corbell, mm. one of the most American well known brands. Does that say extra dry on it? <gasps> this is an extra dry. <laughs> of course. Oh, God there we damn go. that Americans. Means, that Wait. means it's sweeter. They, they do make a brute, uh, but we decided to get the extra dry <laughs> just for this to show. Okay. So, California champagne. How yes. does that work, Ryan? And that's been a weird thing that has happened uh, because originally some of the American places were using champagne. And France was not happy about it. And I don't know what sort of deals oh, they did. There's got to be legal action. Uh, there was originally. And so I don't know. They huh. settled something. They did some sort of weird deal where they can call it California champagne. And I don't know why. Huh. But notice up top of Corbell, they all also say, you know, the method champagnes or whatever you know the they, traditional this method one or they do in the champagne method they make it the same way but interesting the, the word champagne's on there i didn't notice that before so it's made in the United traditional States. way traditional way mm -hmm. how exactly. much does a bottle like that how much was this bottle this, this was, was 11 12 dollars oh, okay yeah. i corbell's I thought, pretty cheap i thought corbell was cheaper on i thought yeah. this because the i think the label to me looks kind of like a cook's label i am a obviously like i'm a visual person like oh this, you're saying this looks like a cheap bottle. it looks like a cheap <laughs> yeah. bottle whereas like this is kind of the same price which and one? it's is it, this the, the this Frasenay? i can't the, say it yeah, yeah i can't read cursive the cava. um but like this bottle is yeah, like that's the problem it's in cursive <laughs> it's not in that cursive it's the, like the pictures on this one are bad <laughs> not, <laughs> that is how i live my not life not that it's spelled <laughs> F-R-E-I-X-E-N-E-T, <laughs> and it's spelled or pronounced phrase. Also a problem. But yeah, like this to me looks like it wants so badly to be like a fancy bottle. So I would think that this would not cost $12. Yeah. Not that $12 is it's expensive. A lot, That's yeah. a cheap bottle still. Yeah. But like just the shape and like it's gold. And so I would expect that to be a little bit cheaper. Um, so, so it's this, interesting that it's made in the traditional way. Yeah, the uh, the labeling that they have on this bottle is very reminiscent of Dom Perignon. That's exactly uh, what I was Which thinking. is what okay. they are going for, yeah. for sure. It's like that crest kind of label. So mm -hmm. And the green bottle. Yeah. It's, yeah. Definitely. Right off the bat, this separates itself from the pack. This has dried fruit for days. This is dried apple, dried apricot. I got that. I was thinking dried apricot. The reason why I can say that is because I just got a package from uh, my soon-to-be in-laws, a dried fruit uh, palette thing for Christmas, whatever. I don't know what they're called. Fruit gift. Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas thing. Fruit leather. Yeah, and it's a bunch of dried fruit. And that thing, that, that smell of it is this. Oh, this smells okay. like a bunch of dried fruit, mixed fruit that's all dry, raisins. I'm getting some raisins. I get, I yeah. get the dry, like that does make sense when you say like dried fruit. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed with this and yeah. I tasted it and it's not nearly as sweet as I thought it would be Yeah. with the extra dry and yeah. American. It's definitely Ooh. the sweetest of all of these for sure. It's even sweeter than the LaMarca. I was expecting it to be sweeter. Though honestly, yeah, I, me too. when you said that, yeah, hmm. it's not bad. I'm getting some citrus on the taste. I would have to go back and try yeah. because this doesn't seem like it's as sweet as a Lamarca. It it almost it almost dies too fast. The sweetness almost dies too fast to to think of it as sweeter because I find that this is even 
going towards what we were talking about with the bready flavors. It's got a little bit of that. Yeah. This is bringing that much more uh, closer to the, the front of the palate. Yeah. I mean, there there are a few. I don't think this is bad. No. not I don't either. This but will is, this give you a big old headache without really knowing it? Ooh, good this question. is going to be more. This and the LaMarca are more prone to give you a headache. Yeah, because sure. that extra dry, you're going to get a bunch of sugar. Yeah. That man. you can't quite taste exactly and yeah. then you're like oh and then tomorrow morning you're just gonna and they do gonna they do make more. a brute <laughs> <laughs> they do make a brute um they're both the same price at you approximately how um, does the brute compare to this would you say it's noticeably less sweet? if you tried them next to each other you would absolutely know a difference okay. yeah for sure um now i if i've tried them together it's been a long long time so i couldn't tell you which one i think is better um but i figured when we were picking these up i figured putting an extra dry in here would be worthwhile oh, it makes for the sense. Lineup. a lot of i feel like a lot of people like sweet wines too and so convincing people that extra dry does not mean like oh this yeah. is crazy dry <laughs> like no it's not <laughs> this is actually well, I'm, sweeter I'm, yeah. that could be a it, kind of a deterrent when you're shopping like it, it i is. don't want to buy like nobody that's, that's nobody sort of wants stupid. to drink a glass of super super dry white wine like I see, well, I see it go both it ways. I see people buy extra dry because they think it's drier. Yeah. And then they don't realize that it's sweeter. And then I think people avoid it because yeah. it says extra dry, even though it would actually be more in line with what they want. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the same as our the last episode we did, which was the um the heavily the beated. heavily peated yeah. Port Charlotte ten year. It's like, why are you advertising it as heavily peated when it really isn't compared to other brands? But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like you're shooting yourself in the foot a yeah. little bit. I am. That. I'm not gonna lie. I am. I have. I can't recall ever having this Corbell mm -hmm. extra dry before, and I'm surprised. It, it's American. It's extra dry, so that's sweeter. And I really enjoyed the nose, and the taste is decent and not nearly as sweet as I thought it was gonna. It's be. not difficult. Like it's still easy to drink. It's not like. Yeah, painfully sweet or anything. I would very much not use this in a mimosa. No, Agreed. not at all. No, this is definitely. An I'd on go. Its own. I'd still go to the cob. That's what I was thinking. For the yeah. mimosa, I agree. Yeah, if you're gonna, I think if you're gonna be in a, a party with people who were who are gonna smell this, this is probably the one you'd want to get because yeah. some people are like, oh, champagne. I'm just gonna oh, let's give yeah. me some more. If you're in some, you know, with some people who are like, oh, what's this? This is the bottle we get. Or like for sure. if you're just drinking it for like a New Year's toast where the extra dry, like the extra sugar isn't going to right. you're affect just having, you. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not drinking it's, bottles and it's bottles. It's one yeah. glass. Yeah. This That's would a good be point. a great yeah. um a great bottle to go with, even though like Or like a wedding toast. Yeah. Yeah. This would be a good wedding toast bottle. Yeah. For people. Not breaking the for the, for the uh, mass tasting. Uh, I gotta toast the yeah. <laughs> like, are you trying to force something on me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you better not get a last. <laughs> no, it's gonna be Corbell all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you my wedding? No. <laughs> Bush, Bush Light and Corbell. No, Bush. <laughs> it's gonna be Bush and whiskey. <laughs> That's everything. Everyone's gonna game yeah. daylight. Yeah. Game it's a bunch of old tub. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Keep it classy. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to enjoy when you pulled this bottle out. I was a little bit like, oh, because I think like the the label, like the marketing the, of it, didn't fool you. I mean, you were going that looks like a pretender, somebody agreed. trying to do something that's yeah. not. Whereas, and, it, and it is a pretender. Yeah, but I was expecting to not enjoy it as much. Um, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah, like mm. it's not overly sweet, but it's not. Yeah. It's not, yeah. So we not have nothing expecting. over thirteen dollars here at this moment in time. All four of these bottles can be had. I think twelve ninety nine is the correct. top price for any one yeah, of these. these Nine ninety nine for the Cava. I think twelve ninety nine for the Prosecco. This is eight ninety nine or what, whatever the Opaline, and this was twelve. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. The. I mean, Corbell. if you're throwing a New Year's party, any of these or all of these, if you're a guest at a New Year's party. Bring one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. Definitely. All right. So 
What's the big old finale? The finale. What's the countdown? Actual champagne. Oh, the countdown. Yeah. Champagne. Yeah, the and, countdown. Yeah, Austin. <laughs> yes. So I did say it, say it kind of right. You did shit kind of right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Holy cow. Last time I looked, you had a... I know Adele. I... <laughs> Adele's ready to write another song. No, she, I just looked at it. it was it was full. She going, has to go maybe, home to someone maybe, tonight. Maybe it's Ryan good. needs to get the next Somebody one. Somebody else I, is driving me home. Uh, going, but Adele. No. But Adele's don't got, drink and drive. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rick. I looked at Austin, and he had like this much left, and I was like, oh shoot, I've been sipping it, and so I took a really large. I gulp, missed that. I and missed then that I finished gulp. it. Yeah. Oh Here my goodness we are. gracious. Finch whisper. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ryan. Oh, oh, no! oh, 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 holy shit. <laughs> Swallow. That is, this is so what embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> this is what happens when you rush it. <laughs> when you're rushing. Okay. What is this? This so, is champagne. This is true champagne from the Ooh. champagne Look at region. This. Wow. This is what happened last time. I know, but it was the first pour. Remember, he said the yeah, first yeah. pour the is first always pour. the bubbly. Why do I have to get more head on the first pour? Why do I have yeah, to you do. So, champagne has the finest bubbles out of all the sparkling wines, you said. Yep. The lightest. So, take okay. a look at them. Yes. Ooh. Small and frequent. So, this is the mm. Nicholas Fouillette. Say that one more time. Nicholas Fouillette. Mm, yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Reserve Brute. It is a brute, okay. so on the dryer wow. side. This is this is thirty dollars, which is about as cheap as you're gonna find real champagne. Okay. It goes up from there. Ooh. Most of them start at about fifty dollars and go up from there. So this, is a, this is a good value. This is champagne. and the, and I've had this before. This is pretty damn solid. I mean, in the champagne realm, it's on the lower end, but it's pretty good. And it usually does well against things that are not true champagne. Man, this is wild. Oh, I'm getting like just the nose on that oh, is isn't that crazy syrup, but like <laughs> oh, that I feel like I'm getting barrel off of this. Like it was almost like aged. The oak. Yeah. So that's the lees. It was yeah, aged on the, the yeast. dead yeast. Okay. Yeah. So, and so I'm getting brioche. Oh. I'm getting brioche bread. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting kind of pastry. Yeah, I'm getting a, pastry. I'm getting more of a pastry. A little bit of a like a fig note. When you there's get to champagne, deeper, there's like a, a croissant, croissant almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Buttered buttery, croissant. buttery, buttery flaky. I love a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you what are you what are you getting off? I this? like chocolate croissants better. True that. Honestly, when you guys were saying all these things, I was smelling it and I did not know. Like I didn't know what I was getting. So I'm listening to all you guys talk about what you're getting, and I I'm unsure. I think. I obvi I haven't ha I don't think I've had an actual oh. champagne. I've never made I think I've bought champagne as a gift, mm -hmm. but I don't think I've ever bought one for myself as an actual champagne. I've definitely bought sparkling wine, so I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for smell wise. So well, I'm, you also I'm, you also have a cold, right? Or coming off I'm of coming cold. off of a cold. So yeah. my yeah, my sense of smell and taste is a little off. So, but I'm like I'm hearing all you guys and I'm like yeah, I'm still a little unsure because when you guys were saying the other, going through mm -hmm. the other wines, I would identify with what you were saying, and this one I was a little sure, still a little confused. So what about like raisin, like a deep raisin? I get that. Like that's, that's what's coming. That's off why now. I say fig. Like yeah, it's that yeah. Okay. Say, okay, yeah, fig now would be that better. You say that, I do Newton. get that. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> not a fig. Well, he said pastry. one of the fig bars, a fig bar, <laughs> the real know? fig, not the yeah, the yeah. The fake yeah. stuff. But it's... Have Damn. you tasted it yet? No. I'm scared to. So, both on the smell and the taste... Oh, it's delicious. There is, like... Wow. A, like, it seems sweet with the notes, but it's okay. not sugary. Okay. Also, I feel like... Tell me if I'm super wrong, because I very well could be, but I feel like after the bubbles subside, whereas the other ones, I didn't get this, I feel like the flavors kind of bloom on my tongue. Like I can a hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, you are. Cool. <laughs> you are totally right. It, awesome. That's the very finish cool. on this is so much more, more expansive, yeah. longer lasting. It's the, almost like, like a fruit is decaying on your tongue, because I, I feel like yeah. the the aftertaste is like a slightly overripe decaying 
uh, for fermenting fruit. To me, it's almost like an apple orchard where yeah. there the apples that <clears throat> yeah. haven't been picked and Definitely. fallen on the ground. Like, like, a, like, a, like a slightly an old brown. apple. <laughs> yeah, like no. kind of brown. Yeah, like yeah. if you peeled an apple for like apple pie, but and it, it browned. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm I'm I feel I'm that. getting. I'm and this is good wow. for me. Yeast, yeast, and more yeast. Yeah. I mean, it is. It. I'm in a baker's. You know, in a bakery. In a baker's paradise. <laughs> there you go. Adele. Come in Adele. In. <laughs> Come in with Adele. some like weird owl type lyrics. I like that. You weren't ready for that, were you? Yeah, wow. no, that's awesome. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I was expecting to. I thought it would be kind of on par, especially since this one was made in the same method. This is very different. And I not because of the extra dry. I don't think it's because no. of the extra sugar. It's yeah. truly different. I I honestly think there wow. is such an obvious difference in quality and you, as yeah. soon as you get to true champagne. And I think this kind of shows that where it's like, yeah. holy fuck, what is this? And did you say this was the cheapest of champagne well, you can get? Well, it's a, like real one, champagne? Of the, one of the cheapest. It's about as cheap as you're going to find. I think it was $30, $29. Normally. Right? Yeah. For, so, for true champagne. I mean, that that says a lot. The fact Agreed. that this is the cheapest and it's so different. Yes. Especially something that says California champagne on especially it. Especially after having like, so you guys drink whiskey on a regular basis. I sometimes drink wine on a regular basis and other times I don't because I don't like being hungover. Um, but I have had like, I don't know, probably five glasses, which is quite a bit for me. And I can hear myself. I'm starting to like slur my words a little bit. <laughs> I'm happy to be here though. But, uh, <laughs> but even after like five glasses, I can still taste a, like there's a significant quite, a, quite a margin of like quality, like you said. So that's interesting that even after yeah. a few glasses, you can still taste how good it is. Uh, yeah, Impressive. exactly. And this is, yeah. is this is the traditional three different grapes that the Chard that, oh, Pinot that, Noir, Pinot Meunier, yeah, Chardonnay. 40, 40, 20. 20% 20 Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir, 40% yeah. oh. Pinot oh, okay. Meunier. And and like 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 we were talking about, it's it's the low end of champagne. That makes me super curious, but I yeah. don't I've know had... that I can <laughs> spend yeah, exactly. more than like for me $30 is like that's a nice bottle of wine to gift someone yeah. but like welcome to the conundrum of yeah. this podcast <laughs> yeah well and and working in a liquor store I I got really into bubbly yeah and I got really into champagne and I tried every champagne in the store oh wow and that was just I just wanted to, and I yeah. tried a bunch of the expensive, expensive stuff. That's when he went on shift. Before he went on <laughs> shift. Yeah, before yeah. during yeah. lunchtime. Before, yeah. during, it's not and authentic after. Unless you're on it while you're working it. <laughs> they asked me not to come back. <laughs> but that is uh, crazy. I mean, there was for for one of my birthdays, one of my coworkers bought a thousand dollars of champagne, and there were I don't know, seven bottles, but one of like multiple of them, one of them was five hundred dollars, a five hundred dollar bottle of champagne. Was that delicious? One was like two hundred dollars. And it was really interesting seeing just within that, yeah. like, wow, just this is crazy. And obviously with everything, once you get to a certain point of cost, it's like, is this really worth yeah. this much money? Yeah. And everyone's a little bit different with that. But for me, in that like fifty dollar range, even up to a hundred dollars for a bottle of champagne, which is a lot of money, yeah, because you're drinking it in one sitting, essentially, yeah, or sharing it in one Definitely. sitting. That's a lot of money <clears throat> for one sort of experience, but once you get to there, it they're incredible. They're the best wines I've ever had. I would mm. take a high end champagne over any other kind of wine any other day. That's like, interesting. A hundred percent. Well, I've had really really expensive red wines. Champagnes beat it. Very cool. Yeah. And I and I was all, you know, truthfully in my mind, I mean, I was sort of thinking, okay, this is for New Year's coming up and stuff. So we're getting this episode out and going, hey, there's some really value. I mean, you know, $10, $12, right? You go into, you know, a New Year's Eve party and there's plenty of different options out there. And there's still, and there are, there's way more than this. Right. But I shouldn't say it, but it's like now here's this thirty dollars well, champagne, yeah. 
and it's like this is okay, balling on a budget. Okay, this is yes. this is balling on a budget. Definition of balling on a budget. Yes, and this is these are more budget. This is more balling. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's a distinct there's a distinct difference. Yeah, yeah. and I wasn't prepared for that distinct. It, neither difference. was I. I it was not expecting that. There's a weird like shelf in quality yeah. to just once you get to champagne it's like god damn it they do know what they're doing <laughs> but like, like, like oh, done in the champagne, champagne method but... done in the champagne method done in the champagne method a bunch of these are quote unquote but it yeah. is not the same thing yeah no, so here's here's the trick to everybody seriously here's the trick for everybody just take this off the table never taste it and then oh, you've got no. some great options exactly you got great options you don't even yeah. know this exists yeah because I was, yeah, I wasn't expecting to go. So go buy the thirty dollars champagne. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, if you want to impress a small group of people that you could pour everyone a glass, definitely get the uh, what? How do you Nicholas say Nicholas Fuete? Yeah, that yeah. one. Uh, because that is it separates itself from the pack. The these other four that you can you can pick either one, any of them up. Yeah, uh, okay. you know if you're if you're trying to celebrate, I would I, don't get the rosé. That's just my hot take. Don't get the rosé. This is New Year's Eve. You know, you're celebrating. Get something that is "quote unquote" bubbly, right? So, um, I would say the Lamarca or the uh, what's the black one again? Frejane, Frejane, <laughs> or the can't Corbel. Can't say it either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're saying again with how you open these and stuff? Because back, <laughs> back, way back in the day, when uh, in the business world, me and a boss. We had way, way too much, and it was, I think, mostly kava, but there was champagne. And we'd go, we had way too much, and we'd celebrate by opening another bottle up on the back deck. I mean, there was a bunch of people there, but not the little... <laughs> it was to oh, see yeah. how far the court it's, could go it's in the using backyard. A, it's using we a thumb yeah, to we, pop we off. We were the literally court. seeing how far the cork went, like sort of like a typical <laughs> man thing. It's like, oh, oh, my cork <laughs> shot further than yours, or whatever. It's or like, there's just cool videos where the guy's like serving some, uh, like. Uh, bride and groom they're like pouring and then he does a little spin and then slams on the table and it just goes and explodes what? yeah that's my wedding okay <laughs> <laughs> you guys should show up to my wedding that's, that's what I was planning this on doing this is ryan's job at <laughs> yeah. the wedding yeah Got all right it. so we're we're at the end we've we've yeah. gone through five choices so what's what's the what's the collective decision here the collective decision is hopefully you learn something yeah and there's really no wrong choice. It's just sort of what you can buy, what do you, what's in your budget, what you, yeah, what and then afford. sort of what are you feeling. Yeah, I think the big takeaway that I tried to tell people in general was Kava is always a good I, bang for your buck. That's what you can get yeah. a bunch for under ten dollars. Yeah, easy bubbles and solid. And if you want to get to champagne, it, there is a difference, and it is worth for it. sure. I would say if you're not balling on a budget, but if you're just balling or if you are just looking for a champagne to like toast the new year, mm-hmm. um, I would go with the champagne. And I am, I have trouble spending money on things like this where it's like, oh, it's gone. Like 20 seconds, it's yeah. gone. So, but, but for a celebration? But a celebration, oh, yeah. yeah. An engagement nice. or. yeah the new year and you're just toasting go with that um i feel like the rosé is definitely more of a and maybe this is sexist but i'm a girl so i can say it uh i feel like the rosé women women cannot be sexist that's a fact (laughs) yeah i feel like rosé is kind of like a female thing where it's like rosé it's pink it's cute i am offended i love rosé no (laughs) it says a lot about you but you're not you're (laughs) not it does you're not wrong that Perception yeah, is for sure. It's definitely, that. yes. It's like a girls at lunch kind of a thing. I'm not saying that you're a girl at lunch. I Ryan, mean, I do have a shirt that says it, all day rose. So, hey, I have a shirt that says mom all day, then rose. I, oh. I, I do a lot more snapping. <laughs> wow. When I wear it, you probably do more snapping than me in general. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> the, the rose <laughs> is like, it's a beautiful, like in your glass, it looks beautiful because of the like, the color, it's yeah. unique. Um, but they were all really good. And I was not expecting to like the Corbel. Also, I was surprised by the Corbel. 
for sure. Um, Bada boom. All right. But I'm impressed by all of them. Well, so it sort of it. depends on the yeah. occasion and what your wallet or what your budget is at the moment in time. Yeah. What your um, party look, what your New Year's party What the whole purpose like. of it yeah. or, or whatever. I'm going to just in general, I mean, champagne, this was for sure. Yeah. But I think if I just take that off, I think I'd go with the kava. Agreed. Because I've had a bunch of different kavas or whatever, and it's always a reasonable price. And, uh, you know, it's it's decent. It's solid. I feel like it's something, like you said, it's solid. Everybody would kind of enjoy it even if you don't know anything about well sparkling and, and that's that's the thing you're not gonna hate it no. even if exactly. you don't drink sparkling yeah. stuff it's yeah. not too sweet it's not too dry mm. like no matter what your palate you're gonna kind of yep. be okay with that yeah, yeah. all righty well, well bada boom happy I, new year's everybody happy new year. I have new year. nothing in my glass oh that's that straight beard now got it <laughs> like subscribe share yeah see y'all in 2023 2023 happy new year you know go you go. go get yourself a bottle of some sort of bubbly okay we gave you a decent list of five make sure you like the content you know actually physically press the little thumbs up button because you love it and then you comment and tell us what are you drinking this this new year's eve I don't yeah. know. You should let us know because maybe we'll go out and buy it and we can give it a little try. Okay. And then share the video because we need you to share it. It helps us. It helps you feel good. You know, you're supporting us. You love to support us, right? I know. I look at you. I mean, come on. <laughs> so thanks for the little cage. The turtle. We all got this our own cage. Great. cage. Well, uh, New Year's, we need some sort of we I need something in my in my glass here. We gotta got to do it. a little cheers. Official cheers. Yes. The last one was Happy you know, New Year. I'm giving a whole speech. I guess I'll take some of the Corbell. Oh, my God. Don't mix it. Oh, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to 2023. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This year's been crazy. My name's Adelaide. Or Adele. My name <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> she doesn't even know who she is. I don't know. I have a name, and I like to party. <laughs>